Classroom. Ang um, kainaman nito sa Google Classroom ay uh, libre. Okay, pwede natin gamitin. Okay. Siya ay binibelop, of course, ng Google para sa mga schools at para din na maging uh, simple ang uh, pagtuturo at pagbibigay ng mga assignments, homeworks, hindi masyado gumagamit ng paper and pen. Okay? So, bigay ko lang sa inyo ang uh, requirements paano tayo paano natin lang sa Google Classroom of course. So, uh, kinakailangan natin ay uh, web browser course, at uh, kailangan din natin ng Google account. At ang pagandahan ito si Google Classroom ay uh, hindi lang uh, sa computer na ito ito pwede pang ganitin pwede rin natin siyang gamitan sa ating mga Android at sa ating mga Now, so first step, we need to log in with our own web browser. The browser is not open yet. Then, go to the Google site to get. So, we are going to go to the Google site. So, you need to sign in, of course, your Google account. So, you need to sign in. So, if you have a Google account, you need to go first. Since this is a save of your Google account, so, what you use is your personal email. So, click nyo lang. Uh, since uh, type lang yung password nyo, so dito naka-pre-type yung password ko. So, next nyo lang. Okay. So, kung mapapansin nyo kanina, wala pa yung ating uh, logo icon. Okay. Itong ating uh, sure. So, meron na tayo pag naka-sign na tayo, ibig sabihin yung account natin ang bilhin na. Okay. Now, uh, next step is kung makikapansin ninyo yung 9 dots na yan. So, ang tawag dyan ay Google Apps. Okay. Click nyo lang sa Google Apps. So, nandyan lahat yung applications to Google sa bandang baba. So, makikita nyo yung classroom. So, click nyo lang. So, nandito na tayo sa Google Classroom. So, meron akong uh, sinubukan na uh, gawin the, the last time. So, gumawa ko ng classroom ko. So, meron akong isang klase. Okay, so, so ngayon, uh, explore natin. Ano kung nang dapat natin tandaan kapag may class sign, yan, ibig sabihin, para sa mga teacher, pwede kayong gumawa ng klase at pag-ilip niyan. Sa teachers, you could create class. Sa mga estudyante naman, you could join class. Okay? So, ngayon, uh, gawa tayo ng klase. Create class. Okay? So, you need the, uh, to read the terms and conditions. Okay? So, check. Continue. So, fill up natin uh, yung class name natin. Uh, depende sa subject na itinuturo natin. Okay? For example. Pero mas maganda, lalagyan nyo rin ang palatandaan. Okay? So, ang gawin natin, surveil, uh, computer, then, section is optional. Okay? Subject, computer, then. Room is uh, optional. Wala na kayo dyan kung ano lalagay dyan. Hindi na mawala. Okay. Then create. And create siya. Tcharan! So, meron na tayo Google Classroom for Computer 10. So, para lang siyang uh, Facebook window. Okay. So, yung stream na sinasabi 
eto yung wall ng Facebook. So, madali kayo makadali. Then, eto yung isa-isahin natin na nagdago natin. So, eto yung ginawa natin yung class. Ito yung section natin. Okay? And, uh, eto yung set sa country lines. Dito yung makikita yung mga classes natin. Uh, Pangin na, meron na tayo sa class. Nakapit na nga yung, yung button natin. So, pala nga, ito yung this and the set of course. Okay. So, unahin natin si settings. Settings ito ng class natin. Ano? Okay. So, ito yung unang-una natin dapat isa set up. So, sa uh, account settings natin, you could change your profile picture, of course. So, sa inyo yan. Then, uh, if you don't uh, want to receive notification on your emails kasi once na tayo ay uh, uh, nagbigay ng uh, announcement na uh, assignment at uh, may nag-email sa atin or may nag-comment uh, may marireceive din tayo na email so I prefer kailangan na ka-enable siya okay. also with your comments as a sign yan uh, uh, enable nyo or disable classes you teach, of course um, kung merong kayong deadline sa mga submissions uh, enable nyo nyo para makikita nyo din sila okay. kung uh, na-double pa ang sinabutan nyo uh, and of course, nasa sa mga paano nga gawin yung schedule na nagkaro I prefer dapat ka naka-enable lang okay pero sabi nga, it's your settings uh, my dear co teachers okay Okay, so, paano tayo babalik sa computer pen? Click pen. Ayan. So, nasa minimum na tayo ng ating ginawa computer pen. So, after that, uh, ito naman. Okay, so, yung ating uh, scene photo. Okay. So, ito yung class natin. Section. And of course, this is the class code. Uh, kung may general itan kayo, click pen lang yung display. So, ito yung class code natin. So, yung class group, ito yung ibibigay ninyo sa mga estudyante ninyo uh, para makapasok sila sa class. So, there are two ways. Uh, mamaya papakita ko sa inyo. There are two ways para uh, uh, maka-invite kayo na class ninyo, na estudyante ninyo. Okay? It's either ibibigay ninyo yung class code or hihingi ninyo yung email address. Pero, I prefer uh, bigyan nyo na lang yung class code para mas madali para sa inyo my dear all teachers okay? kesa yung mag uh, hihingi nyo natin email magkatayin tayo kung uh, sabihin na natin na 60 plus o 60 plus na yung mag enroll so unless kung ito ay ibibigay nyo lang approve lang kayo na approve okay? so close also you can edit your theme photo okay? uh, select theme Depende yun sa sabi ko. Para naman hindi nakakamukha-mukha yung important na ito. Kung maayos, okay? So, since computer ko, it's up to you. Ito na yung pinamit ko sa computer na yun ko. Possibly naman sa computer. Ah. Okay. Or even, gusto nyo rin naman na ibang picture. Okay? Pwede kayong gumawa sa iyo you can upload photo on your uh, computer okay you can see uh, pili na lang kayo ng files na yun or kung meron kayong ginawa pwede na lang okay. next uh, if you want to create an announcement and uh, respond okay kapag so, ang sasagot sa mga comments na uh, posts post ng mga subject nyo dito tayo okay Okay, announcement and of course, I'm just going to do the exit file. So, if you announce it, click it on that. So, if you want to see it, you can see it in the last video. Since I don't have a class here, all students are here. But you can select the signal that you can see it in the last video. Okay, you can check it out. You can see it in the last video. Okay, so the comment I do, for example, hello there, hello there. Okay, so if you have a file attached to the file, you can attach the file, add to Google Drive or you can link to another website. 
or may mga resource sila or even if you have uh, uh, nagawa kayo o meron kung meron kayo na doon handouts you could insert files or if you have tutorial videos on your YouTube or uh, anybody else uh, YouTube channel you can insert YouTube videos okay and after that you could post it okay um, there are several options sa pag-post okay it's either i-post ninyo kagad ngayon or i-schedule natin or save as well for example um, bukas pa ito dapat ma-post you will schedule it tomorrow okay may uh, schedule nila uh, time kasi nga ilagay nila nga dyan then schedule nila okay saka natin ma-post so ganun lang kasi nga eh para lang sa Uh, Facebook. Ang kainama lang nito, kung sino lang yung plus na siya lang maka- Okay? Next. Next tab ay uh, yung sinasabi natin, classwork. Okay? Sa classwork, uh, wala tayo yung ginawa. Okay, discard na lang natin. Ginawa natin. So, sa classwork, dito tayo uh, maggagawa ng mga assignments at uh, questions and materials of course reuse posts and topic okay siguro gagawa ako ng panibagong video kung paano gamitin yung mga tabs ko medyo mahaba eh. okay so dito kung tayo gagawa ng assignment pero bigyan ko na rin kayo ng konti ng uh, uh, options okay para makita natin kung paano gagawin okay so First, you could create uh, assignment. So, for example, assignment, assignment number one. Number one, the instruction. Uh, click the uh, Java Java. Okay, it's a field. Then add. If you want to add uh, files in the web pages or attach files or YouTube channels, it's a field. Okay, of course, uh, for computer 10, since the other one in the class code is computer 10 and computer 9, uh, so computer 10, okay, yeah. then all of my students will need to submit the assignment, so, yeah. and of course, point is 100 points on data, it's up to you. Okay. Due date, of course, lagi uh, naman yung due date ng uh, Ito ay due date on the Friday uh, On Friday uh, Optional okay. So, due date niya ay Friday Topic To create topic test Then, rubrics uh, Okay, na rin yung gagawa ng rubrics Then, uh, every time na meron kayo Pagbabago Pagbabago uh, Dito Then, save So, click assign, assign schedule, it's a few, katulad na pinagalala natin kanina. Uh, yung gusto nyo bukas, schedule na lang. Okay, then assign. Click nyo lang assign. Okay, so we can have one assignment that is due on Friday. And, how to add people? add uh, students on your class okay click the people tab okay so you could add teachers meron kasi mga subjects na uh, one or more teachers ang magtuturo okay you could add teachers kung kayo yung tumawa uh, you could type the email address of your teacher for example uh, at uh, yeah. okay so invite ko siya then kung student naman ang ilalagay niyo invite student ito yung binanggit ko kang ina uh, medyo magiging hassle kung itatype nyo lahat yung email address yung estudyante nyo for example 60 students nyo 60 ang itatype nyo yung email address or uh, kung meron kong nakasave sa notepad nyo ng collection ng email address ng estudyante nyo 
could face it. Mas madali yan para sa inyo. But, sabi ko nga kanina, ang mas pinakamas madaling paraan ay ibibigay ninyo sa mga estudyante ang inyong class code, which is yung ginawa natin kanina. Okay, yung na-generate ni Google na class code. Okay? Mas madali yung ibibigay ninyo yung class code. Next, ganun lang yung add nila. Pag na-add nila, nandun yung file. Next is, next tab is the grades. Siguro, pag-aralan natin sa susunod yung grading system. Okay? Pag nagawa na natin lahat ito. Okay? So, so far, ito lang yung mga tabs na pwede natin pag-aralan. And also, of course, you need to set up the settings on your class. Kung meron kayong nakalimutan, kung meron kayong nakalimutan na gawin during the start of the creation of your class, dahil excited na tayo at bago ito sa atin. So, pwede natin siyang balikan. Click nyo lang ito. Lalabas na yung quick settings. Pwede nyo palitan. Ayan. Ginawa natin kayo na. Of course, the class code is a view, what is play, you want to reset, or you want to disable your other class code. Dito sa stream naman, dito po pwede natin palitan yung options. Okay, students can only comment, only teachers can post or comment, or students can post and comment. So, I usually do sa during sa proper practice natin. I uh, can see that can put some okay. And of course, class reward uh, on the screen or show by the presentation. And ito yung pinaka ito pa sa akin. Minsan kasi yung mga estudyante na may style or mayroon na ba abang kita may pala ka ito. Okay. So, uh, I suggest that ini-inigaw natin i-ibol natin, i-ibol natin yung ating show to the developers only teachers can do this to the developers okay, so tayo lang yung teachers na makakaroon okay, and of course, the grading system okay, so siguro next time, natin yung pag-aralan lang yung pangalaman of course, we nasasin yung pangalaman okay, this is natin of course, no overall grade of our points, we can find that grade Again, my dear co-teachers, ito po yung uh, gagawin natin ito this time siguro. Okay? Then, every time na meron tayo uh, gagalawin dito ang mga details, we need to save it. Don't forget to save it. Okay, save it. And that's it. Ganun kadali ang ating Google classroom. Kung nagustuhan niyo yung uh, video natin, uh, like nyo lang at uh, share nyo rin para mas marami pa tayong makakulungan. Okay? So, thank you and God bless.